We're on. All right. Well, praise God. Happy Sunday morning to you. Feliz Domingo por la mañana. Pastor Jose and Patricia of New Beginnings Church. We want to welcome you. Amen. And uh, this is a church where you, you could call home. Mm -hmm. Where we honor God, love family, yes. serve others, and pursue excellence. Amen. Amen. So we want to welcome all our NBC family. We want to welcome all our visitors and all of you that are joining us by audio or video. Prepare Amen. yourself to receive what God has for you. Amen. Yes. And don't pass it on to somebody else. God has something for me. You know, hey, we always want something. But when it comes to God, I say, well, he don't have nothing for me. And we're always thinking of the negative. Amen. He's always passing me by. He's always you know, forgetting about me. He don't forget about you. For God so loved the world. You know yes. what world means? For God so loved the world, meaning everybody. Yes. World means people. Yes. And we are people. Amen. Yes. And he died for us. Amen. Right. Let's you know what? We're just getting started, but uh, let's go to um John 3 16. Everybody knows it. Yes. And I can tell you what it says, but uh -huh. open your Bibles. Yes. This is the word of God. You know, yes. the Bible says the word is the truth, and the truth is going to set you free. Mm -hmm. It's time that we get into the word. Yes. Uh, I never open my Bible. Yeah, I know. <laughs> because I can see, I can I can hear right. what, what you're confessing. Mm -hmm. And you're confessing negative instead of positive. That's it. Amen. Death and life are in the power of yeah. your words. Yes. The tongue. And, yes. and are you confessing the, the positive or are you confessing the negative? Mm -hmm. And you can have what you say. Come on now. Come on, Pastor. <laughs> yeah. Pray for me. John 3, 16, are you there? Yes. It says, for God so loved the world. People, yes. what do you do? Yes. He gave his only begotten son, that yes. whoever believeth in him should not perish, but have what? Everlasting, Everlasting life. life. For God, mm -hmm. uh, for God sent his son not into the world. Um, where am I at? For God sent not his son into the world uh, to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be Saved. saved. Amen. So we have salvation through him. Let's yes. get it right. Confess the truth. Confess the word. Confess means you got to speak it out. Yeah. You know, just don't think it. Since yeah. You, you got to get full of this word so you can speak it out. Let it come out of you. Amen. And it's got to come out of you. When you come out, when it comes out of you, it comes up with authority. You're using authority to set you free. You're free. Amen. So let's remember this. Woo, hallelujah, I'm excited already. I don't know about you. But anyway, woo, God wants to uh, bless you, encourage you, change you, and he wants to correct us, you know. So praise God. We're going to be talking about victory is mine. We, uh, thank you, praise team. They sang a song. I told Pastor Pat to sing, victory is mine. Victory is mine. Amen. And so I told Satan, get thee behind. Yes. You know what? When you follow the word of God, you're going to start speaking to the enemy. Uh -huh. And your enemy, the only enemy you have is Satan. That's it. And you speak to him the word of God. And I told Satan, get thee behind. Amen. I told him, yeah. you have to speak to whatever is bugging you. And you know it's the enemy. He uses people, he uses things, distractions, all kinds of things to distract you. But you got to speak to it and say, get thee behind. Amen. Yeah. Or get under my feet. You know, yeah. that's where you belong. We're talking to a defeated foe that Jesus yeah. already yeah. defeated. And we're letting them have full reign in our lives. Mm. That's not right. That's not what the Word of God says. So, whew, victory is mine. This Christmas, uh -huh. this Christmas season, and daily, confess this on a daily basis. Yes. Victory is mine. It's thank you, mine. Jesus. You know, before you go anywhere, thank you, Jesus, that victory belongs to me. Amen. Man, i got to get my thinking straight. Mm -hmm. You know, the world will have you confessing negative things. You know, but I want to get my priorities right. Yes. Jesus first. And thank yes. you, Jesus, for setting me straight. Thank yes. you for setting me free. Yes. And victory is mine. Victory is mine. Amen. Well, for somebody else. No, it's for you also. Mm -hmm. Are you receiving it? You have to receive it yourself. Amen. Amen. So praise God. Before we go uh, any further, <laughs> <laughs> grab your sword, soldier of God. Yes. Amen. Thank and let's say it like we mean it. Amen. We will make this declaration together. Yes. Woo, hallelujah. Yes. Thank you, Carmen. Beautiful. Yo, this is my Bible. I am what it says I am. I have what it says I have. I can do what it says I can do. Today, I'll be talking the word of God. I boldly confess. My mind is alert. My spirit is receptive. And I'll never be to say it in Jesus' name. You know what? Your mind is very important. Yeah. It is the battlefield. And you can think positive or negative. 
But that's your choice. Yes. And the enemy is going to come and he's going to use people. He's going to use things. And you got the Bible. The Bible tells us to renew our mind mm -hmm. with the word of God. Because you can start thinking negative mm -hmm. like the world. Like yeah. anything, anyone else. Yeah. But start confessing the word and read it to your spirit man yes renew your mind with the word of god say mm -hmm. no, i'm not going there no more That's you it. can't hold me in the past anymore That's i'm it. not a prisoner of my past That's it's it. gone i've been forgiven i'm not going to stay there no more i'm going to press on with the things of god That's it. amen but you have to confess it amen you have to speak it out Woo, hallelujah i'm blessed already i'm about to <laughs> <laughs> all right but, we got to speak the word. Yes. Amen. And uh, the, set, the song we sang a few minutes ago, I had it here somewhere. It said, victory is mine. Victory is mine. Victory today is mine. You can sing this song. This is a song for the Christian man, the Christian person. Yes. Victory is mine. Victory is mine. Victory today is mine. Well, you can sing it tomorrow. When you sing it tomorrow, it's going to be today. Yeah. Victory today is mine. <laughs> And I spoke yes. to Satan. What did you tell him? Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, I can speak to him. Mm -hmm. I can tell him where to go. That's it. He can go back to him. Stay in him. Yes. <laughs> I told Satan, get there behind. I'm not going to listen to you. Renew your mind with the word of God. Yes. And not be thinking the negative things anymore. Mm -hmm. Let him go. Or it's going to keep you. It's going to hold you. Yeah. It's going to hold you captive. Mm -hmm. And you don't want that. Amen. Renew your mind with the Amen. things of God. Victory is mine. Joy is mine. Mm -hmm. Happiness is mine. All these things you have to confess so that you can have. These things are mine. Yes. They're mine. I'm going to confess them. Amen. Yeah. You can have joy is mine. You know what? On a daily basis, I told the church this earlier, but don't let nobody, you know, when you spend time with him and you go out into the world and you have to go into the world, yeah. all of us have to go yeah. into the world. We all work. When you go into the world, don't let nobody take you out of your peace. That's it. Don't let nobody take you out of your joy. Don't let nobody take you out of your happiness. Mm -hmm. Amen. You have to make this choice. <laughs> hey, you know what to say. You know what to do. I'm going to stay on what the Word of God says. But you have to do it. If you don't spend time in the Word, <laughs> they'll have you in a heartbeat. Yeah. Amen. You know this. Anyway, you step out of your home. <laughs> Sometimes even before you even step out of your home, mm -hmm. it's nothing but negative stuff. Oh yeah. Turn the TV on. Turn mm -hmm. the radio on. Turn whatever on, and mm -hmm. it's going to be negative. Yeah. Negative. negative. I said, wow. And this man, you, what you hit your mind. The battlefield is the mind. Yes. That's why it's so important that you renew your mind with the Word of God. That's if it. you're not renewing your mind, mm -hmm. you're going to follow just like the world. Mm -hmm. So renew your mind with the Word of God yeah. as yeah. often as needed. Yes. Not once a day, once a year, or whatever, but as often as needed. That's it. Renew it. Amen. Get it right. Amen. And I'm going to be That's thinking that. straight. I'm going to be thinking what the Word of God tells me to think on. Amen. Amen. Because I see things, I hear things. Amen. So, whoo, hallelujah. Praise Thank God. you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Okay. Oh, victory is mine. <coughs> Says, I, I come to Jesus weary, worn, and sad. He took my sins away. Yes. Amen. He took my sins away. And yes, he did. He took my sins away. And now his love has made my heart glad. And he yes. took my sins away. Amen. He made me glad. And I'm going to stay glad. Mm -hmm. The Bible says this is the day the Lord has made. And I'm going to rejoice. I want to be yes. glad and rejoice in it. You don't have to copy somebody else. That's it. They might be doom and gloom. They might be mm -hmm. sad as can be. I don't have to copy them. I'm going to spend time with my Savior. And I'm going to do what His Word tells me to do. Rejoice and be glad. Amen. It didn't say about what situations you're facing. I'm just going to say, Lord, I cast these on you. Mm -hmm. I give them to you. But I'm going to rejoice and be glad in this beautiful day God has given me. He didn't give me another day to be doom and gloom. That's it. He didn't give me another day to be sad and mad. Mm. He gave me another day to be to, to be glad and rejoice in it. Mm -hmm. You know what, people? You're the closest thing. I've said it many times. You're the closest thing to a Bible. Mm -hmm. Some people will ever see or be around. Or, or, you know, just remember that. Because you go, wherever you work, wherever you go, mm -hmm. I can't go. 
Mm -hmm. But we go to different places. And what are we? We are his body. Yes. We are his church. Yes. Going somewhere, yes. bringing the good news All to right. a sad world. Mm -hmm. Amen. Bringing a light into a dark world. Mm -hmm. So that's how important you are. And you have a part in this. Mm -hmm. Don't see yourself. Don't exclude yourself. Include yourself. Amen. For God so loved the world. That means me. Yes. yes. Thank you, Lord. He was thinking about me. Mm -hmm. Amen. So he was thinking about you. Don't let the world, don't let nobody tell you. You know you've sinned. God can't use you anymore. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, give me scripture. Do you got scripture for that? No, but, you know, so-and-so uh, told me. Well, so-and-so <laughs> is wrong. wrong. <laughs> Amen. They don't have scripture for it. Yeah, you know what? If you sin, confess it. Give yes. it to him. Confess it and get it out and Amen. press on. Press on. That's what the Bible yes. tells us. Amen. Amen. So, guess what? I come to him weary, weary worn, and sad. Mm. But he took my sins away. Yes, he did. He, only, he can only take it. He's already taken them, but you have to give it to him. Mm -hmm. If you give it to him, Amen. Ooh, Hallelujah. I don't know about you, man, but I'm 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 happy already. You yeah. don't can't take me out of my happiness. <laughs> I'd rather be ha happy than sad. That's it. Put a smile on your face. Some of us, you know, we gotta be talking about joy in this Christmas season. Put a joy, put a smile on your face. You know, some of us really need to put a smile on our faces. You know, we've been frowning. <laughs> and sad for so long, you know, it's time for us All to right. be happy. Yes. How people, you know, uh, joy is contagious. <laughs> and people are seeing you and they're going to start laughing and say, what are we laughing about? Mm -hmm. and then, I'm glad you asked. Uh -huh. They're looking at you and you're laughing and they want to know, why are you laughing? Because uh -huh. Jesus, this is the season. Jesus is the reason for this Christmas season. Yes. And he died for yes. me. And he died for you. Yes. And you can receive him as the best gift mm -hmm. you can ever have. Amen. Amen. It's the things, you know, you can have things, but they pass away. They go away. And they get wore out. and Or you lose them. Or somebody will steal it from you. <laughs> they, can mm -hmm. somebody steal Jesus from you? No. Well, no. Mm -hmm. They can't steal him unless you just release it and say, mm -hmm. Amen. I go by the wayside. No, mm -hmm. don't. Don't, don't, don't. <laughs> so victory is mine. Yeah. Victory is mine. <coughs> Daily. Not just once in a while, you know. Hey, when things are up and up, mm -hmm. remember, he's got on the mountain and he's mm -hmm. got in the valley. We said, well, you know what? I don't feel like, I don't, I, don't, I don't feel safe. I don't feel like Jesus is with me. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> yes. Well, you know, I, well, I want to tell you this. <laughs> it's not his fault. <laughs> it's my fault. Mm. Amen. Have you been spending time with him? Well, no, I've been in a rush, you know, to get things done. I've got priorities. I've got things. And I've been slipping. No. Yeah, I know. And, and you know, I, I posted this on Facebook. Got a Bible. It's so dusty. <laughs> and, and somebody wrote on there, read me. <laughs> you know, because... I haven't spent time in his word. I haven't spent time with him. And you're going to fall. Mm. I don't care if, if you forget about him. You're going to fall. Mm. And that's what the enemy wants to do. Yes. He's got all these distractions yes. to keep you occupied. He's got all these priorities. Mm. He's got a job for you. Mm. And you're going to spend all your time on a job and forget about your God. Mm -hmm. That probably gave you this job. Uh-huh. But all of a sudden you say, well, look what I did for me. Yeah. <laughs> and you start giving yourself all the all, all the pats on the back, mm -hmm. you know. No, thank you, Lord, for this job. Thank you for the job I have, Lord. Help me to be the light at my job. You know, hey, I can I can cuss as good as anybody. <laughs> I can do bad things as good as anybody. <laughs> but why don't you be a light in a dark yes. world? Why don't you yeah. be the only one that goes and brings Jesus to this lost world. Yes. Amen. Wherever you happen to go, work, store, mm -hmm. it doesn't matter. The gas station, mm -hmm. it doesn't matter. You know, it, it, you shouldn't just say, hey, I'm time out. You know, I'm a time out Christian right now. <laughs> I'm on time out so I can go and send all I want to. Mm -hmm. No. Don't. I'm glad Jesus didn't do that for That's us. Right. That's Amen. right. Amen. He was pressed on, you know, from the time he was born mm -hmm. till the time he was called home. Mm -hmm. The time we went home, there was no timeouts. I said, wait a minute. This is really giving me a 
bad time, you know, mm -hmm. time out. It's time, I want to take a, a time out right now mm -hmm. and join the world and do what the world's doing and then I'll come back. Some of us do that, but is it, we're not supposed to. No. Amen. We're supposed to be pressing on with the things of God. Amen. And that's why he says, clean yourself, yes. spend time with him, cast it on him, give it to him, so we can yes. say, man, I'm, I'm ready to press on again. Right. It's time to go on. Keep going, keep going. And that's his word. We need to open it up and spend time in it and get it in us. How are we going to get it in us? We got to look at it and read it, meditate on it, and study it. And then it's going to be in there. So you know what? When you need it, it's going to come out. Don't say, I can't. The Bible says, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Amen. Confess and be positive. Man, I ain't even started. On, I'm still on the first page. <laughs> Victory is mine. When I put my faith and trust in the Lord, in the Lord's amazing abilities, uh -huh. instead of my own, Lord, I'm trusting you. Yeah. Lord, I'm committing myself, I'm submitting myself to you. Yeah. Amen. And I'm making myself available to you. Yeah. That's the main yeah. thing. Are you making yourself available? Mm -hmm. Well, he always passes me by, you know. He never calls on me. Huh. He's calling on you, but you're not answering. You're not answering. Amen. He, he sends you free requests all the time. <laughs> and you keep hitting that delete. Uh -huh. You know, it's time you accept, you know, accept, confirm, you know, and say, yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, Lord, I want to be, I want to be yours. Yes. Amen. Thank you just got to confess him as your Lord and Savior. You made him, too many of us been running from him. It's time we give in mm -hmm. and confess him as Lord and Savior. Amen. Yeah. Woo, come on now. <laughs> It says victory uh, begins with believing God's word. Yes. It doesn't matter the circumstances. <laughs> it doesn't matter what the circumstances look like. Mm. Amen. Man, brother, but you don't know. Uh. This is always happening to me. Uh. You know, always happening to me. And you go and vent and tell somebody that's got bigger problems than you do. Yeah. You know, and they can't help you. No, brother, I got more problems than you do. Mm -hmm. You go to the Lord and confess it to Him and give yeah. it to Him. You don't have to go to no man. You can go straight to yes. the Lord and give it all to Him. Confess yes. all to Him. Amen. It doesn't matter the circumstances. You know, we keep hearing this, but little David brought lunch to his brothers. And they was fighting them, uh, the 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 Philistines. Mm. And David just went up there to bring him lunch. All of a sudden, he's involved in the battle. <laughs> he said, who is this uncircumcised Philistine? Mm -hmm. <laughs> my God, he says, I, I can take him down. Mm -hmm. Because my God is with me. Mm -hmm. My God helped me. My God was there when the bear came. My God mm -hmm. was there when the, 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 uh, the, the lion came. Yeah, yeah. And whatever situation you're going through, my God yeah. was there. My God brought yeah. me through. And he'll bring me through this giant. Yes. See, we see big things, you know. So, yeah. wow, you know, we're scared because they're so big, you know. Mm. Remember the ten, uh, the twelve spies. Mm -hmm. Ten of them went with negative reports. We, yeah. we like little grasshoppers mm -hmm. next to them, you know. But Caleb and Joshua, what they say? Hey, we can mm -hmm. take them down. Yes, yes. Hey, when you spend time with your God, mm -hmm. you walk out that door and you're ready for some devils. Mm -hmm. You're ready for some giants. <laughs> it don't matter what or the yes, circumstances, yes. you know. You press on. It doesn't matter what the odds look like. That's Just true. like David and Goliath. You know? yeah, yeah. So we, we see we see with our physical eyes mm -hmm. and we try to see, we, we, we deal with it on a physical sense instead of a spiritual sense. Mm -hmm. With him, he said, we can do all things. Oh. And little David knew this and he pressed on. He says, mm -hmm. I'm going to take you down. You're coming down. Mm -hmm. And the, they were laughing at him. Mm -hmm. But he was ready. He was, he yeah. was set. God's ability is not affected by our circumstances. That's it. That's Amen. It. We might have a small church, but we have a big God. God. You it. might be you against whatever, but you have a big God. Amen. Remember that. You know, yes. don't exclude yourself. Include yourself. I'm Amen. a child of God, mm -hmm. and I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Amen. We're not fighting for victory. We're fighting from victory. Amen. He's already won it for us. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we just got to say, wait a minute. 
Victory is mine. Yes, it is. Amen. This uh, Christmas season, you know, I don't have anything to give. Everything is due, you know, and, and, and we're more sad than, than glad. And why are we celebrating this? Mm -hmm. We're celebrating the birth of Jesus. Yes. Amen. It's not about how many gifts I'm going to get. That's it. That's it's it. not about me. Mm -mm. Amen. But we start, enemy starts putting these things on you about, you know, well, you know, if I get more gifts, they're going to like you more. Mm -hmm. They're going to love you more. No. It's about Jesus. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus is the reason for the season. Amen. Listen, <laughs> write this down. Jesus is the reason for every day. Every day. <laughs> every day. Thank you, Lord, for this beautiful day that you've given us. And the circumstances outside and the weather outside has nothing to do with him giving you another day. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to be moved and be happy just because it's snowing outside. Well, <laughs> praise God. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> No, well, you know, I want it to be nice and mm. sunny all the time. Mm. No, thank God he's given us four seasons, Amen. you know, and it Praise changes, God. and change is good. good. Amen. <laughs> you ever been around a baby? Yeah. Change, change is good. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. Everybody said, Amen. <laughs> yeah. Because Jesus has already done it. He's paid it all. He's paid it all in full. Mm -hmm. And you know, in case you don't know, I remind you, you don't belong to yourself. That's it. He owns you. You just yeah. haven't accepted him. Yeah. But he owns you. That's it. That's it. <laughs> you. You know what joy stands for? Mm -hmm. Joy. Write this down. Mm -hmm. Joy stands for Jesus mm -hmm. owns me. <laughs> or Jesus owns you. you. <laughs> joy. Jesus owns you. Uh -huh. You just got to come to mind and say, well, you know, you're right. Mm -hmm. You know, and start serving him. Yes. Amen. Jesus, our greatest example, and Matthew talks to us and tells us Jesus came to serve, not to be served. Mm -hmm. Amen. Sometimes we mix those things. Mm -hmm. and we want everybody to serve us. Mm -hmm. Be a servant for somebody. You know? Yes. Praise God. Thank, Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Victory is mine. Mm -hmm. Have victory in Jesus on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. It's your choice. Yes. Amen. Just because it's raining outside, mm -hmm. don't mean I'm gonna have a bad attitude about that's it. That's it. That's you it. Know? We need more. Remember, your attitude is a little thing, <laughs> but we got to change it before we do go anywhere. That's Just it. like a flat tire is, is a little thing, but you got to change it before you that's can it. use your vehicle. That's it. Our attitude. I don't want to give my bad attitude to nobody out there. Mm, I thought you was a Christian. Mm. People are waiting for you to slip for them mm. to say this. I yes. thought you was a Christian. Yeah, yeah. No, I don't, yeah, I'm a child of God. Well, you know what? You got to watch your words and your actions. Mm -hmm. Amen. And be a blessing. Yes. Be kind. Yeah. Give a smile. <laughs> Give a kind word. Yes. <laughs> oh, praise praise God. God. Thank you, Lord. Knowing the word of God is the truth. And the truth is going to set you free from all mindsets. From all traditions. Yes. You yes. know, some people up to the end when Jesus comes mm -hmm. are not going to be changed because they have traditions. Mm -hmm. They have mindsets. And we're not going to be moved. We're going to stick with this because mm -hmm. our grandparents, our fathers, our parents, no. they, they brought us up this way and we're going to oh, continue this gosh. way. Well, what's the word of God that says? Well, it doesn't matter. We're going to go with what? Mm -hmm. Our tradition says. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, you're going to be lost. Yeah. Because <laughs> that's not what the Word of God says. Mm -hmm. Go with what the Word of God says. You know, I was brought up a certain way. But when I found, I, I got in the Word and studied the Word and found out what the Word of God says, I changed. Mm -hmm. And the whole thing just came against me. Mm -hmm. But still, I stood my ground yes, on the yes. Word of God. Amen. And I'm not going to be changed. I'm going to stand on what the Word of God yes, says. Yes, we need yes. to do the same thing. If you're yes. going to stand, stand on the Word. The word. Amen? Yeah. And, and know the Word because people, and the enemy is going to use people to try to distract you and move you from that. Right. And I said, no, have roots in the truth. Have roots in the Word. Amen? Mm -hmm. John 8, 32 says this. What does it say? It says, and you shall know the truth, mm -hmm. and the truth shall set you free. Mm -hmm. Amen? Let's go. Let's go there. Mm -hmm. Amen. John. Book of John 8 yes. and 32. You know, uh, if you have, if you don't have a Bible, get you one. Yeah. And if you have one, underline it, highlight it, uh, personalize it. Amen? Amen. 
Yeah, if you need to borrow one, there's somebody in the back over there. Uh -huh. And if you need one, just have it. Yes. 832. Are you there? Yes. Okay. It says, the King James says this. It says, and ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make, make you free. free. The, the, uh, the Amplified says, <coughs> listen to this, and you will know the truth. No. The word truth in the Amplified is capitalized. Mm -hmm. We're talking about the word here. Yes. And, then, and, the and the Amplified is capitalized. And you shall know the truth, and the truth will set you free. Mm -hmm. Amen. You know, some of us have a lot of things we need to be set free from. No, boy. And all we need to do is, is get in the Word, allow the Word of God to set you Amen. free. And you start reading, studying, meditating on the Word, Amen. and getting it in you so we can start changing things. I don't want to be the same. I don't want to be like everybody else. Uh -huh. The Lord says, go to the right. Yeah, but everybody's going to the left. I'm going to go with them. Well, that's wrong. If He's telling you to go right, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and the Word of God is going to tell you what to do. So, yeah. Do what the word says, not yes. what everybody else is saying. That's it. That's Amen. It. If somebody tells you to do something, always find out. Can you give me scripture for it? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, no, no. This is something that we do. Yeah. It's, a, it's a tradition thing we do. Mm -hmm. Well, it's too bad. That's, that's not what the word of God says. Yeah. So I'm not going to go with your tradition. I'm going to go somewhere else mm -hmm. where they study the word and use the word of God and yeah. teach from the word of God. Amen. Praise so God. let's remember that. <clears throat> That's going to set you free. Yes. If you want to be set free. Yeah. <laughs> John 4, excuse me, John, uh, 1 John 5, 4 and 5 says this in the NIV. For everyone born of God overcomes the world. And this is the victory mm -hmm. that has overcome the world, even our, faith. even our faith. Who is it that overcomes the world? Mm -hmm. Only the one who believes that Jesus is the Son of God. Amen. Amen. Only those that believe that Jesus is the Son of God. So this is the season of Christmas. This is the, 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 the season of, of, of Christmas. A season of, of giving. For God so loved the world, He gave His only Amen. begotten Son. Amen. And that's yes. what we're celebrating. Yes. Amen. Not just about how many Christmas trees I can put up, how many lights <laughs> I can put up, or how many presents I can give away. That's it, that's it. No. Amen. God gave us the best present. Amen. And Jesus gave His life. That's the best gift we can have. Yes. And not only that, he forgave us. Yes. Amen. Have you asked him to come into your heart, be your Lord and Savior? Mm -hmm. And he's going to forgive you. You know, we, we studied this last week, but he's, uh, he's forgiven and forgotten about it. Mm -hmm. But you're still walking around guilty. Yeah. Because the enemy, you have renewed your mind mm -hmm. and the enemy's bringing it back to you. Mm -hmm. He didn't forgive you. He didn't forget about it. He forgot everybody else. He forgot brother, and he forgot sister. But he he forgave, he forgave them, but not you. Mm -mm. You're you you're some kind of hard case. Mm -hmm. He didn't forgive you. You know, no. He forgives and forgets. Mm -hmm. So every time it pops in your head, it says, mm, "I'm forgiven." Yeah. I don't receive that. I don't receive it. Go somewhere else. Yes. I'm not taking it anymore, yes. and I'm not going to spend any more time in it. Mm -hmm. It's a done thing. It's a forgiven thing. It's a forgotten thing. And I'm going to forgive and forget about it. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> if you think you're fighting a losing battle, fear not. <laughs> Have victory in Jesus. Yes. Learn to stand on his victory. Learn to stand on his word. Amen. Learn to stand on the truth. Yes. Amen. That I have victory in Jesus. But you don't know what we're facing. You don't know this and you don't know that. Mm. It doesn't matter. I know matter. Jesus. And if I know Jesus, mm -hmm. victory is mine. Amen. And I'm going to receive my victory. And I'm going to have victory in Jesus. Amen. Yes. Well, so you're going to stand your ground. And you know what? The more you get in the word, yes. the deeper your faith roots grow. Amen. Amen. And that's what I want. I want, I want my faith roots to grow. You know why? Because when my faith roots grow, that means fear is out the door. Yeah. yeah. I'm not going to walk in fear anymore. Mm -mm. I'm going to walk in faith. The Bible says... That we are to walk by faith and not by not sight. By mm -hmm. Amen. So you just what? As I, as I grow stronger in the word of God, mm -hmm. my faith grows stronger. And fear has mm -hmm. got to go. And every time I step out, I'm going to step out in faith in mm -hmm. him. 
Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Thank you, I want to read to you this before we close. Man, it's almost time. Amen. And this is what the Word of God says. If you open your Bibles to Ephesians 6, and we're going to read uh, chapter 6, verses 10 through 18. Mm. And a lot of these things we already know, but it's okay to go over it again. Mm -hmm. We all also know that we fight a... Uh, uh, fight of faith on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. The enemy wants to steal, kill, and destroy. Yeah. Amen. Jesus says, I've come that you might have life, life. and have it more abundantly. Amen. But the enemy wants to steal, kill, uh -huh. and destroy. Mm -hmm. And he wants you to think this way every day. He doesn't want you to think, I have victory. Victory is my victory in Jesus. No, he wants you to think, I'm, a def I'm defeated. Mm. You know, and the more you get in the word, now I'm thinking different. I have victory in Jesus, and mm -hmm. I'm not a defeated person. I'm not a defeated uh, uh, man or woman. Mm -hmm. Amen. And uh, this uh, fight of faith, I'm going to battle every day, mm -hmm. but I'm going to stand on my faith. I'm going to stand on the word of God. Amen. Amen. So Ephesians chapter 6, verses 10 through 18. Amen. So let me get there. I already got it written here. I'm going to read it to yeah, you the way I have it here from the uh, New King James. Okay. Just want to open my Bibles. You know, sometimes it's just good to open it up so you learn how to <laughs> uh, learn it. Yes. <laughs> and we'll go through it and know where the books are. You know, say, yes. are you, is that a book in the Bible? Yeah. <laughs> 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 Ephesians chapter 6, verse start at verse 10. Mm -hmm. Mine starts off with, it says, the whole armor of God. Uh -huh, Amen? <coughs> whole armor of God. So just follow along. It says this. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord, the Lord and in the power of his might. Mm -hmm. Amen? Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Yes. Enemy is going to come. Every day. Mm -hmm. The enemy is going to be persistent. Oh, yeah. Amen. I've said it time and time again. He is a full-time devil. Mm -hmm. We can't be part-time Christians. Part-time Christian is no match That's to a full-time devil. That's it. He came and tempted Jesus. Guess oh, what? Yeah. He's going to come and tempt you. Oh yeah. So we just can't part-time. We, we can't be part-time mm -hmm. Christians. Believers, mm -hmm. we got to be full time. Full time. Amen. If you're full time, you'll learn the word, and you learn to stand on the on the word, mm -hmm. and you learn to have faith in Amen. Him. Amen. Put on the whole armor of God that you that you. This is every way it says you. I told you personalized every time. Every way it says you, you can scratch that mm -hmm. and just put your name on there. Yeah. It's okay to write in your Bible. <laughs> you know, if somebody finds it. And they see it and say, wow, somebody did a great job for me. <laughs> it says, put on the whole armor of God that you, may be, that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. The enemy is going to come. But you are going to make a stand. Mm -hmm. And you best have the whole armor of God. Yes. And verse 12 says, for we wrestle not against... We wrestle not against flesh and blood. Mm -hmm. Okay. So it's not a, a physical battle. Amen. So if you're trying to fight a physical battle uh -huh. uh, on a spiritual battle, it ain't going to work. And you're going to defeat it. You're defeated already. Mm -hmm. It's a spiritual battle. Mm -hmm. The only way for you to get into this spiritual battle and, and win is get in the word. When you get in the word, you're using, you're using the, um, mm -hmm. the word of God. And, yes. and that's the way to get into fight the spiritual battle. Amen. We wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, listen, against powers, against rulers of darkness of this age, against spiritual wicked hosts of, mm -hmm. of, of, of hosts of wickedness in heavenly places. Yeah. Therefore, you take on the whole armor of God uh -huh. that you may be able to withstand in the evil day. And having done all to stand, stand. Yes. And stand, therefore. Having girded your uh, waist with the truth, mm -hmm. putting on the breastplate of righteousness, yes. and having shod your, your your feet with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Yes. Above all, taking the shield of faith, which is Amen. which uh, with which you will be 
able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked one. We're still talking about the wicked one. Yes. And then we're talking about this uh, spiritual battle. Mm -hmm. And take on the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. Praying always in all prayers and supplication in the spirit. Yes. Being watchful to this end with yes. all perseverance and supplications for all the saints. Yes. Amen. So it says put on the armor. Mm -hmm. Nowhere it says take it off. That's it. That's <laughs> so, you know, as a soldier of God, you say, I need, I need, I need to keep my 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 armor on mm -hmm. because you're a warrior for God, mm -hmm. and you are going to be fighting a battle on a daily basis, yeah. a spiritual battle on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. Let's remember this, Amen. And I need the Word of God mm -hmm. to fight this battle because I'm fighting. It says I'm fighting uh, principalities against uh -huh. powers, against rulers of darkness of this age, against spiritual hosts of wickedness mm -hmm. in heavenly places. Mm -hmm. It's a spiritual battle. Yes. Only the word of God. Yeah. Physically, you cannot defeat them. That's Physically, it. you're defeated. Mm -hmm. Amen. So let's let's remember that. Again, fear not, church. If you feel the cares, the worries of this world, defeated, lonely, hopeless, uh, falsely accused, uh, feeling the world is at the end, mm. know that when you get in the word of God, yes. you have His peace. Amen. Amen. And you know that he is there for you. Yes. And I can do all things. All things. And all things to him who strengthens me. And let's remember, Second uh, Second Timothy 1 and 7 says this, For God has not given us a spirit of fear, mm -hmm. but a power of love and of a sound mind. Sound know mind. that Jesus paid the full price, mm -hmm. and he is, and you can have victory in, through him. Victory in Jesus. Mm -hmm. So this Christmas season, you know, don't be sad, don't be gloomy, you know, mm -hmm. about you know, the enemy's kind of leading you. Well, you know, hey, you should be doing this. If I don't have it, mm -hmm. I'm going to have peace because yeah. I'm going to spend time with him and yeah. glorify him and celebrate him. That's yeah. what we're celebrating. We're celebrating Jesus, the birth of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. None, none, all this other stuff is just, you know, whatever. Great. <laughs> yeah. So, thank God. I want you. And we're going to be talking more about Christmas and as, as we get closer to, you know, the 25th, but still, yeah. so we're fighting a spiritual battle on a daily basis, mm -hmm. so let's remember, let's keep our minds renewed with the Word of God, amen, mm -hmm. because you're not, you not going to be excluded in the things of God, you're not going to be excluded from the enemy not coming against you, That's it. he's going to visit you on a daily basis, uh -huh. Uh -huh. constantly, mm -hmm. the way you react to it is what's going to give you the victory, mm -hmm. stand your ground, yeah. Have faith and trust him. Yes. Well, wait a minute. The word of God says this. And I cast you out. I, 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 I rebuke you. Mm -hmm. I take authority over you. Yes. And tell him where to go. Get Amen. thee behind me. Amen. Amen. Don't let circumstances, don't let problems, don't let the enemy talk to you. You Amen. speak to them. Amen. And this is what the word of God says about these circumstances. Mm -hmm. This is what the word of God says. Cast it on him. Yeah. Give it to him. This is what he said about the enemy is take authority over him. Mm -hmm. Amen. Don't let him rule over you anymore. That's it. He's a defeated foe. Yes, he is. I'm not giving him that anymore. I'm going to tell you I have victory mm -hmm. in Jesus. I have victory belongs to me. Amen. Yes. So yes. praise God that you get something. Amen. I hope you got something. Yes. <laughs> if not, I'll take Lord. it. <laughs> praise God. Lord. And you know what? We're not going to close until we give the opportunity. Yes. Some of you are watching, mm -hmm. and if you never confess Jesus, you know, and say, but now's the time, you know, yeah. all you have to do is just say, I've sinned against you, I repent, come into my heart, be my Lord and Savior, yes. amen, Thank you, and he will, but you have to do something with it, you need yeah, to get yeah. into a Bible-based church where you can study the Word of God from the Word of God, mm -hmm. and start reading, get you a Bible, and start reading it, yes. and get the Word of God in you. And let the word of God come out of you. He yeah, says, out yeah. of your innermost being shall flow rivers, rivers of living yes. water. I mean, the word of God is alive. The word of God has authority. But yes. you have to confess it. You have to release it. It's okay to be in there. But you have to release it for it to go and accomplish what it has to do. Amen. Amen. So let's remember that. You have sickness in your body. Speak to it. Say, by Jesus Christ, I am healed. Any yes. malfunctions in your body. The Bible says, God Jesus, or God created us 
And he knows all about you. And he created everything to function normal in Jesus' name. So I speak to that malfunctions to be ceased in Jesus name and function the way my God created them to function in Jesus name so praise God said lay hands on you on yourself and speak to yourself yes. and say body line up with the word of God and be yes. healed amen yes. sickness go in Jesus name yes. I don't receive it it's not for me yes. amen so yes. hallelujah thank you Jesus thank you. and it's time to give those of you watching those of you listening and still want to give your time your offering you still can just go to our website it's on the screen uh, nbcbigben.com hit the donate button if you're mailing it nbc p.o box 252 marfa texas 79843 and if you cash up at new beginnings church of the big ben god bless you amen jesus loves you and we love you amen